magic is this? Someone is looking for you to take care of me. <laughs> hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. We've climbed the 7,000 steps. Now it is time for me to visit with the Grey Beards. Is that someone running? What's going on? Where is Lydia? Lucifer. Hey. I need you to wait here. Okay. Don't be too long. There she is. Lydia. I'm right behind you. Wait we'll here. On guard here. All right. Why are you following me? Stay here, both of you. I have business with the Greybeards. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Yes, I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Strike us with the power of your voice. Very well. Dragonborn, it is you. Of Welcome course it to is. High Brothka. I am Master Angil. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? <laughs> I'm answering your summons. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in the ah. fulfillment of your destiny. Excellent. And what would you say is my destiny? That is for you to discover. Oh, is it? We can show you the way, but not your destination. Good. Glad to hear that. Well then, why don't we get started? I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragon. -born. Of course. You have the inborn gift. <laughs> but, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path you laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. I suppose it does. You have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Arnott will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Excellent. Ah, oh, this is one of the dragon words. And I can read it. Balance, unrelenting force. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning of constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. 
Shout to strike the targets as they appear. Targets. All right. I can barely see it. There. <laughs> well done. Again. Oh, another. Excellent. You learn quickly. Once more. Ye go Excellent indeed. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. Oh, a trial now, is it? All right. Which one is Bori? You all look the same to me. Where did he go? I see you all like to run. I guess it helps you keep in shape. All right, then. I'll see you in the courtyard. Oh, it's cold out here. You will see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wolf, which means whirlwind. Hmm. You Let hear the word me read it. Yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Yes, very well. Yes, I feel it. World wind sprint. Four power. Master <laughs> Wolfgar will demonstrate world wind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Boy. Rex. Oh, oh. Your turn. Stand next to me, Master Boy. Well, hold on. In the gate, use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. All right. Oh, pardon me. Did I pass? On gear? Your quick mastery of a new thumb is uh, astonishing. <laughs> I've heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? Well, I'm sure the Dragonborn would be pleased that his abilities are so impressive to you. <laughs> I thought it, this was easy for everyone. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Another Retrieve one. the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice. Well, very well then. So, can we speak freely for a moment? I'm curious as to why the dragons are returning. I've traveled through many what you might call multiverses, but I'm still quite unsure about why this is happening. Does it have anything to do with me? 
No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Oh, I'm sure it will be. All right, then. I'll continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. <laughs> yes. Yes. Of that you can be sure. Well, I am curious, this horn. Tell me, who is Jürgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, the master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Oh, that's a nice tale. And what is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. But I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Hmm. Well said. All right, then. You're dismissed. Sky, guard you. <laughs> oh, the Dragonborn doesn't know what he's missed out on. Good. You all waited as I requested. So, I've been strengthened. My thum is stronger than ever. Plus, I've learned a new shout. But, we have a mission before us. And I hope the two of you are ready. We heading out? Yes. As you command, my thing. As it should be. Lucifer? Do you still need me to wait here? No, that's enough waiting. Okay then, lead the way. All right, well, I think I probably should reflect on what I've learned here and strengthen my abilities further.
saw your last trials to collect the horn of Jürgen Windcaller? Why are we always having to go fetch something? Lucifer? You're prattling. I'm trying to concentrate. I must look deep within. Deep within the power that resides. And strengthen myself. Right, I think it's time for more magicka. It's going to be a while before I'm able to unlock some of these abilities. I shot 50% stronger. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I think I'm going with the Rune Mage to be able to cast two runes simultaneously. All right. Let's see about this horn. What do you want? We should I keep want moving. Yes. That's what I want. All right, let's look on the map and see where this uh, horn is supposedly located. Oh, it's nowhere near any of the locations we've been. You know, it would be so nice if the cities were marked on the map that were in the area. So now we have to struggle. going to take quite the amount of travel. So I think we're going to need to get a, a carriage. Right. I suppose we're headed back to White Run then. All right, here we are. These flowers are certainly growing back. All right, so let's play this game with this man again. Um, so hold on, let me look at the map. So it looks like. There's the pale. How about how much? That might be the closest. Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Depends. Morfall, huh? Let's go Climb there. And back, and we'll be off. All right, let's go. Better bundle up. This 
may keep up for a while. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. To the Dragonborn. I hope this letter finds you well. For Skyrim Morrowind and the Great House of Halalu, all are in need of your strength. A grave threat from my homeland of Morrowind has migrated to Skyrim, and though I nip at its heels, I fear that I cannot bring it down alone. Please, if you care at all for this land and her people, Meet me at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood as soon as you can. Mandolin Halalu. Interesting. I think I met this man when I first arrived here. And he said he was, like, looking You're rather hard to track Seriously? Down. Who are you? I'll give you that. Who are you and what do you want? I was asked to find you as soon as possible. If you ask me, this problem sounds urgent. You'd best head on over to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. Speak to Lurius Lior. He mentioned something about trouble with the dragon. The promise of a generous reward sounds tempting. If I were you, I'd best not keep him waiting. Are you joking? We're in the middle of a battle. the dragon. Oh, this isn't going to work. I can't even see it. Belongs to the Dragonborn. 
don't know if we need this except to be able to sell it. Let's see. Lucifer, I what think I it? gave you... Okay. But I may need to use them. Yes, I gave you some of this before. We need to sell this off. And I've yet to see who I can sell these things to. No one seems to be in the market for them. Let's get back to what we were doing. Yes, I'm sure you won't be able to carry much more dragon bone. All right. I'm not even sure where we are. Is, is this more fall down here? Let me go ahead and collect these items. a mud crab. Who are you? Ugh, ruckus coming from those caves. Who do they think they are keeping half the town up at night? Hm, greetings. Oh, a new face and mortal, is it? I trust you haven't come to give us any more grief. God's that know depends. this town has had more than enough to deal with of late. I would watch your tongue if I were you. Oh, they've got a bit of fire in their belly, do they? <laughs> Mags appreciates those with a bit of backbone, as long as the adventurer keeps to themselves, yes. Perhaps. Old Mags has been here longer than most. Longer than the war. Longer than the Dominion. Here she sat, and here she will remain still. Dark tidings or the occasional smart-mouthed adventurer won't be changing that. 
Best you remember that if you seek what only I can offer, stranger. Are you a merchant? No trinkets or bubbles, oh no. Mags offers more than what simple gold may buy. More than the Cretans or the wenches. Far more valuable, yes, and infinitely more noble, but still she sees. Sees? Aren't you blind? The body may wither, traveler, but Mags sees a nose as she ever did. Oh yes, my senses are still with me yet. What do you want? Wrong question. The question they must ask is, why am I here? Bade, chance, what drives the traveler? Do they seek answers or only more questions? What brought them to old mags, hmm? Huh. I will ask you politely to stop being cryptic and just give me a straight answer. Ah, but it is not mags that divines the meaning, traveler. Only offer what the tides want us to hear. You are the one that must find the meaning, yes. Your place within the world before it is too late. Hmm. Already I can see it. Can you? Perhaps there is still a chance. Very well, tell me what you see. You do not come empty-handed, do you? Mag sees and knows much, Traveler. For what is taken, something must be given in return. <laughs> All right, dare I ask what this payment is? <laughs> <laughs> it is as the tradition knows. The bloodied heart of creatures born from shadow. Bring it to Megs and perhaps the tides will listen. Go then, shoot. That's it? A heart? Not now, not now. An old woman needs her rest. Right, well, I don't see anything, as far as a quest goes. I'm glad All right. I have some. Oh, you do? Leather. Something is drawing me to this house. I can feel mystic forces inside. Let's wait here until the morning. Oh, good morning. You must be the shopkeeper. Greetings. You are new to Morthal. You have not spoken before. This is interesting. You're very perceptive. Something has brought me here to you. My talents are much needed here in order to keep Morthal safe. If you stand before me to accuse me of sacrificing children or eating the hearts of the dead, you may save your breath! I have done no such thing, nor do I intend to. I simply wish to live my life in peace. <laughs> I've come here to accuse you of nothing. 
Why would anyone accuse you of that? The people of Morthal would much rather weave their own horrid tales about my life than simply ask me for the truth. If they choose to fear me in their ignorance, that's their choice. But it will not change what is true. Can you teach me about conjuration? You deal with powerful forces. Take care they do not overwhelm you. Didn't I just level up? There's something about conjuration. That I'm not able to train. I couldn't do it with Runil, but I mean barely. Interesting. So, what have you got for sale? Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Oh, look at this. A bound shield. Interesting. Bravery. A frost atronach. Hmm. A temple grim. Not sure what that is. Drain souls. 44 seconds saps the soul of an opponent in melee range, absorbing 8 points of health per second. Well, that could perhaps come in handy one day. Electric touch. An electric zap that does 39 points of shock damage. Frailty do. Cursed for 40 seconds. And their armor is reduced. Well, these seem to be. This is a mark wherever the caster is standing. The same spells that uh, Ferengar has. With a few new ones added in rags rage what what no recall okay mistaken. You can't help me. All right, Lydia, let's go. See if we can't get ourselves pointed in the direction of Ustengrav.
All right, it seems like it's off in this direction. So that's going to be quite interesting if I cannot train with conjurers. And it would be a shame to take the trip all the way to White Run, not White Run, but Winterhold, and not be able to train. going to make a comment about the cave that we should explore. Good. This is one of the most quiet, uh, marshes I've ever been in. No creatures, nothing. Right here it is, Ustengrav. Hmm, it looks like we have company. Was that it? Gather up these ingredients. It's always fun to go to an alchemy station and create new things. And I think I have enough ingredients for another go at it. All right. We've got some bodies here. 
It looked like they're need, in need of consumption. If you want to stand there, Lydia, interrupting my feast. Is that it? No one else? <laughs> All right, then. Oh no, there was someone down here that I missed. Maybe on the way out. Anyhow, here we are. Wustengraal. 